Professor Jim Ratcliffe has already hinted at Manhunt's Eric Ten Hag decision with rare comments. As legend backs Ten Hag, Sir Jim Ratcliffe will put himself at risk of being labeled a hypocrite if he and INEOS decide to sack Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag this summer. United are reportedly currently assessing the Dutchman's future as part of a review of a largely dismal second season in charge, somewhat salvaged by Sarzefa Cup win. The Red Devils produced their worst ever Premier League and Champions League campaigns, while data suggested they were fortunate to finish as high as eighth. In doing so, they missed out on European qualification altogether before beating Manchester City 2-1 at Wembley Stadium in a shock result, earning a Europa League spot. Ten Hag has supporters among pundits and fans alike after becoming the first United manager since Sir Alex Ferguson in 2011 to lift major trophies in back-to-back -back seasons. Others believe the club's regression this term is enough proof to suggest INEOS should start their stewardship of football operations with their own appointment in the dugout. Reports last week claimed that United had already decided to sack Ten Hag, regardless of the outcome of the FA Cup final, due to the crisis mounting at Old Trafford. Now, the 54-year-old's future is as uncertain as it has ever been after the weekend's events in the capital, leaving supporters frustrated ahead of a crucial summer transfer window. However, Radcliffe may have already provided a glimpse into his insight back in March when he praised Arsenal for sticking with Mikel Arteta throughout his early struggles. When asked who he wanted to win the title on Geraint Thomas' cycling podcast, Radcliffe replied, I hate them all. You've got Liverpool, Man City and Arsenal. I don't know. They're all the enemy. I couldn't possibly choose one. Would be good for Arteta. It would be good for him because he's done really well and Arsenal have been patient with him. Arsenal finished eighth twice in a row and then fifth in Arteta's first three seasons in charge, having replaced Anai Emery in December 2019. The Spaniard was under intense pressure from outside the club but arguably most of all from the disgruntled fanbase who had grown tired of underperformance after Arsene Wenger's retirement. The Gunners haven't yet won any major silverware since Arteta lifted the FA Cup in his first campaign, but they have taken Manchester City the distance in the last two Premier League title races. It wouldn't be the best look if Ratcliffe gave Ten Hag the chop after winning a second major trophy in as many seasons at Old Trafford, a higher total than Arteta has lifted in five at the Emirates Stadium. However, Ineos must go with what they believe will be best for their own long-term vision, as ruthless as it may be, and there will be ongoing discussions about whether Ten Hag fits into it. In other news, Dutch legend Marco van Basten sends message to Man United over sacking Eric Ten Hag. Marco van Basten has urged Manchester United to stick with Eric Ten Hag, believing he is the right man to take the club to a higher level. Ten Hag's time at Old Trafford looked to be up following a dreadful Premier League campaign, but sad as superb FA Cup final victory over Manchester City could yet see him handed a reprieve. Ten Hag's position remains under threat but the club are currently conducting a final season review this week that will decide his fate. While United have held talks with the representatives of possible replacements, including Mauricio Pochettino and Thomas Frank, no decision over Ten Hag's future has been made yet. Despite few opportunities with the players, he was still able to win the FA Cup, which was very important. As a result, they play European football. I think he is still the former man to get something done with Manchester United to box. I think they should give him time. I know from Ajax that he is a good trainer. He did well in FC Utrecht and at Go Ahead Eagles. He is someone who can build, who can make a team stronger. But you have to be lucky that you have a good group. He has, and that is a mistake on his part. He bought many players for a lot of money who did not perform well. That is the job of a technical director, he took on too much. Ten Hag's options this season have been limited by a string of injury problems in defense, naming 15 different center-half combinations over the course of the 2023-24 campaign. I do think he is capable of taking Manchester to a higher level, and that takes time, especially with a year like this, in which they have had to play so often with a different composition, Van Basten said. Then you could say that he has to take care of that himself, but there were just a lot of injuries. I think you have to take that into account. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.